Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo with Click. In this video, I will cover a light version of a very powerful and unique capability available in both ClickView and ClickSense known as Set Analysis. Now, I'll be using ClickSense for the demonstration, but the same will apply to ClickView. So let's first define Set Analysis. Set Analysis uses an expression syntax to aggregate measures based off of a defined condition. It is commonly used within a chart object to restrict or predefine the object's measure to a set of data. You might want to use set analysis when comparing time periods, aggregating data for specific dimensions, excluding or ignoring certain values, and much more. Since it's a chart expression, it works with the data that is already loaded into the Click application, so there isn't any need to reload the app when defining or even testing new expressions. Here is a set analysis expression in its simplest form. This expression simply summarizes sales for the year 2015 and takes into account current selections that are made within the user interface. Let's break this down and take a closer look. Let's say I want to use two KPI chart objects to display the sum of sales for the year 2015 and 2014. I can define set analysis expressions to do this. Now, note that the expression can be defined a few ways. I can define it as a reusable measure within the master items list and then add it to the chart object. Or I can directly define the expression in the measures section of the chart object. These are the steps I follow when defining the expression. To begin, I decide which aggregation I want to use. In this case, we want to sum sales. Next, I choose which field or measure I want to sum. Again, sales. Therefore, we have this expression. Pretty straightforward, right? Now, next I want to explicitly define a set of conditions for that sum of sales. We begin by using a pair of curly braces right before the field name sales. So now we have this expression. Between the braces we will define another expression syntax that will include or exclude certain records based off of our condition. Now optionally we need to decide how much of the data we want to include or which data we want to measure. And we do this using identifiers. And these identifiers are represented by the symbols one, dollar, and one minus dollar. There are a few others, but we'll reserve those for other videos later. The number one represents the entire set that respects the condition. That means the measure value for the chart object will not change or update when selections are made in the user interface. The dollar sign, which is also the default behavior if you don't use the symbol, represents the current selections. So if you have other dimensions in your app that you want to filter on, the measure will take those into consideration and the value will change based off of those current selections. One minus dollar represents everything that the current selection excludes. So for example, if my current selection is 2015 in my expression, the measure itself will display the total aggregated value for sales for all the years in the data, excluding 2015. Let's respect the current selection that might be made in the UI. And now our expression looks like this. After the dollar sign, we add two angle brackets. This is called a set modifier. This is where we define our condition that we want the measure to reflect. Our expression now looks like this. Between these, you place the set of fields that will define your condition or selection, such as, in our case, year equals 2015. You define it with the field name and an equal sign, and then another set of curly braces, such as, Note that you can wrap the value in double quotes. So here's a few tips. When using date fields, you can eliminate the double quotes. But if it's a literal, for example, or a text or ASCII field, you must wrap it in double quotes. 
You can also separate multiple values for the same condition with a comma as in this expression. These are considered to be defined as explicit searches. Now if I wanted to add another dimension to the condition or search, I would simply add a comma after the first condition end bracket and repeat that pattern as in this example here. So now we have our KPI chart for the sum of sales for the year 2015. To get the sales for 2014, I simply copy and paste it and edit the measure expression changing the value of 2015 to 2014. And now I have my sales comparison displayed as KPI objects for this year and last year. In the next video, I will expand upon this topic and show you a few more capabilities available with set analysis.